Hello everyone, I'm Prophet Luke. Welcome to the Glory Room. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you today to be with us. We ask you to cover us in your blood. We ask you to help us understand this devotional today, Father God. Help us apply it to our lives. Father God, if there's anything that's blocking us uh, from hearing the word, we ask you to remove it. Father God, we ask you to forgive us of the sins we've done. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are reading it, bless the ones that are hearing it. In Jesus' name, amen. So the memory verse of the week is Songs um, 1 and 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. In his law, he meditates day and night. The verse of the day is Matthew 6 and 6. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who's in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. Subject, shutting the door. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm praying to God. I'm waiting for him. I know he hears me. I'm living in his will. Read Thomas 7 minutes and 46 seconds. Prayer is the biggest thing we could do in our lives. Some people don't understand how powerful prayer can be with God when we do it. The hardest part of praying is making time for it. We don't often make time because we feel that there's no way prayer can change our lives or I can do it faster than God. And that could be true. But will it be the way he wants it? Will it be his way? It won't. Still, when we pray and leave everything in God's hands, we will learn his way is better. David prayed, King prayed, King Saul prayed, and King Hezekiah prayed. But they left everything to God. And each time God showed up, maybe not the way we wanted, still he did. We must stop trying to figure out things to work for us and wait for God to tell us what he wants of us. Matthew 6 and 6. But when we pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father, which is in, in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. This is one thing we must do is go into our room and shut the door and pray to God. A lot of us don't care about that time with him because we feel if we do it at, his, at this time, we'll miss out on something of our day or with our friends or we won't be able to binge watch this show. Or we think I, I won't have any time for myself. Prayer is making time for you. Because when we pray, we are submitting to God. That's the point of prayer is submitting our flesh. During prayer time is making time for God. We talk about our problems, we, our, our family and how we feel. I realize, realize that some people don't see it this way. But when we look at prayer at, as our time to spend with God, we'll start doing it more. Matthew 26 and 41. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. When we pray, this will keep us out of temptation. This will keep our flesh from bending. Every time we get tempted, this will keep us from, keep our head into the spiritual and out of the natural. And what happens is when our flesh wants to do something that's not of God, our body will let us know, no, we can't do this because it's not of God. How many of you have prayed today about your current situation? How many of you have allowed your time to be devoted to God and not anything else? When we show God who we are dedicated to, which is him, he will show us how we will, how this will pay off for us in the long run. Prayer strengthens us when we are weak. Prayer helps us stay connected. Prayer helps us stay willing. When we have a willing spirit, we can easily submit to God. A lot of us aren't willing to submit because we aren't will ready to to do. Let me repeat this. Some of us aren't willing because we aren't ready to do what the Lord is asking us to do. When we start to obey, we will start to see what the Lord wants us to do. We will start to beckoning to the call of God. Romans 8 and 26. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what this prayer pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with us with groaning too deep for words. Sometimes when sometimes during prayer, we we don't know what to pray because our mind is on some, some, some of everything. But if we pray in the spirit, we won't have to worry about what to say. We won't have to worry about forgetting because the spirit of God moves for us and knows what we should pray for. And the spirit can go deeper than what we could ever imagine. Prayer is so important. At one time, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it at all. I didn't realize how prayer can keep me from being weak. But when we don't pray, we are weak against temptation and weak when it comes to the spirit. Many of us are weak in the spirit right now because we are equipping ourselves with the necessary tools. Luke 18 and 1. And he told them in a parable to effect that they ought to always pray and not lose heart. It's hard not to lose heart. 
to be honest. It's hard not to feel like something we ask for, we won't ever get. But the Bible tells us not to lose heart. It tells us to keep praying. A lot of times we pray and we lose heart because we can't see. And we don't see how our prayers will be answered. Or if, if, we've, been, or if we've been praying for a while, we don't obtain what we need. We are confused. But when we pray... Our prayers are answered. We need to go to God and ask God, if I'm praying against your will, please change my wording. Tell me what to say so that I can be in alignment with you. A lot of times our words can change our prayers not to be answered because we aren't equipping ourselves. We are praying against God and praying against what God wants for us. Today, we talked about prayer. And sometimes prayer is hard to make time for because we have so much to do. But when we pray, we must be focused on God. And that's the, that's hard to do when we have so much on our minds. Whatever you have on your mind, ask God to help you focus on what's essential. And try to focus on praying because before the throne of God, that's hard. But it will help you stay focused on him. First John five fifteen, And if we know that what we hear is of whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked him for. This is one part we sometimes have a problem with when requesting. We feel we have made a lot of requests and they aren't heard. But God hears us and we will. he will answer in his time. We must be patient and continue to ask. But we must believe, we must believe that because he hears us, he will give us what we desire. If it's in his will, I pray sometimes. I realize that the prayer isn't moving. I go back and ask him, what is his will? Many of us ask and never see what his will is for our lives. If today you're asking, your prayers aren't answered, ask him what he wants of you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. We ask you, we thank you for answering our prayers, Lord. If we are asking for something that's not in your will, please help us change it. Lord, we need you for everything. We need you in every part of our lives. Lord, we learned today that we must make time. Forgive us if we haven't made time for you. Lord, we give you everything. We ask you to to hear us. Father, we please hear us and give us patience to wait on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Reference, 1 John five fifteen. And since we know he hears us when we make our requests, we know he will give us what we ask for. 1 John five fifteen. Luke 11 and 9. And I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to, to you. Luke 11 and 9. Psalms 5 and 3. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. Psalms 5 and 3. Further reading, Proverbs 1, Isaiah 6, Acts 2, John 18. This ends shutting the door. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any platform. Remember to share with a family member or friend. If you have time, please share this particular podcast on social media. And remember, I have over 15,000 followers on YouTube. Please go subscribe and, and click the notification bell to get notifications um, when when I upload. Also, remember at the bottom will be your memory verse, your verse of the day, your further reading, your reference, and, and a link to read this devotional if you care to. Jesus love you. Be blessed.